Ladies and gents, welcome back to the studio. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite cryptocurrencies by far in the entire crypto market. We're going to talk about Polygon, and in particular, we're going to go over my number one, my top favorite metaverse project being built on Polygon called Kitsumon. So we're going to go over all of that, and if you enjoy this sort of content, I'd really appreciate it. If you like the video, it helps send these videos out to more people, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. So anyways, as of recently, Polygon has had a lot of big announcements announcements come out. So we've seen Ethereum's price really be pretty volatile and we've seen gas prices just continue to rise. So as a result of this, a lot of people have started to look towards Polygon, not only developers, but also investors. And recently, YouTube's head of gaming did the exact same thing. YouTube's head of gaming decided to resign. He left YouTube altogether, decided to join Polygon Studios as CEO. And in particular, he said what he was going to be doing at Polygon is focusing on marketing, um, building the developer ecosystem, system. Specifically, he's going to be leading Polygon Studios organization across gaming, entertainment, fashion, news, sports, and more. And this brings us to some big in investments that we have seen recently. Polygon had a $450 million investment um, led by Sequoia, and we've seen a number of huge companies start to invest more into Polygon and invest resources. And this is what brings us to one of the projects I want to readdress today, and that is Kitsumon. Because about three, a couple months ago, I think it was two or three months ago, we did a video on Kitsumon because they had their TGE, their token generation event. And this I got a part of. If you look at my MetaMask wallet, you can see right now I own tokens in Kitsumon, and I have for quite a while. It says I own 1.75, 1.8 million tokens of KMC, Kitsumon. And the cool thing about this project, why I invested so many months ago in it when they first launched, was because this project has huge backing behind it, a lot of exciting names, and their graphics and overall gameplay is very interesting in my opinion. So when we look at the project right now, first of all, it is... Kitsumon, if you aren't familiar, if you haven't seen our like little updates in the past on it, it's a free multiplayer online battle arena game. So MOBA. And it's all based around NFTs, you know, play to earn, not pay to, you know, play, but it's built around play to earn. So you're able to generate and earn rare NFTs from playing. You're able to generate income simply by playing the game. The cool thing about it is it's available on PC, mobile mobile platforms is coming to iOS and Android devices. So this is a pretty cool platform in my opinion. One thing I really like about this is their DNA driven NFTs. You're able to, um, there's going to be 30,000 NFTs generation zero. These are the original NFTs that are going to be minted. And from that, there's going to be other digital DNA rarities that are going to come about. So there's going to be like a unlimited possibility for um, this game in the future as it continues to develop from these original generation zero NFTs. And this is something that's really cool in my opinion. So we're not going to go over all of the gameplay and everything like that, but just by looking through their white paper, you could see the entire graphics. It gives me a reminder of like other very successful play to earn games in the past and something that personally I think is going to be really big in the future. So if you look at their NFTs, it says right now to populate the Kitsuman world, 30,000 NFT generation zero eggs will be minted and distributed through the Kitsuman marketplace. These eggs, once hash, will base the population. Majority of these eggs will be sold through uh, to the public through the Kitsuman NFT marketplace via an auction-based system, but it's also available on like OpenSea later on if you want to. But the cool thing about this project is really, in my opinion, how it's built on Polygon. Lower gas, like lower fees, faster speeds. It is much better than all these other projects that are built strictly on Ethereum, which have been plagued by high transaction fees just to buy an NFT. And that is not a problem with Kitsuman. So I just wanted to share this project with you guys and some of the basics about it. Next thing I want to talk about is some major partnerships they've had as of recently. So recently they have a number of huge partnerships come out. When we look at their um, medium page, all the information that's happened as of recently on their platform and for their company, we could see that they've had so many big partnerships come out. You could see that they've had a partnership with Chainlink. They've had a partnership with right here, Kitsumon and Chainlink, Kitsumon and CrowdCreate, a marketing platform. We could see Kitsumon and ADA, 
They've had a number of other, like INOs, their first INO launchpad announcement and staker sale. They've had a lot of big partnerships and big names get involved in the project. And right now we're still at the beginning. So next thing I want to talk about is going to be their roadmap. So when we look at what's coming next for the project, we look at their white paper and we scroll all the way down. You can look at their roadmap and see. Right now we're still in the very early stages of this project. Yes, they have a fully diluted market cap of around $60 million, but we can see that we're in stage two right now in the breeding, the unique UI game art, the main menu. We're in the very initial stages with land acquisition and egg dispenser and all of these initial phases. We have not yet seen, you know, the battle arena, which is going to be released in Q4 of 2022. We have not yet seen battle arena beta. So like the testing version of it in Q3 of 2022. So now is the time to get involved. If you like Polygon, like I like Polygon, if you're invested in Polygon for the long term, you can guarantee that there's going to be a successful play to earn NFT game on the platform. And I think it very well could be Kitsuman because it's has great graphics. If you look at all of their designs in their white paper, it has DNA, um, DNA based like NFTs. So it's going to continue to evolve over time. Yes, there's 30,000 generation zero NFTs, but it's going to continue to evolve over time. And really this entire ecosystem that they're building, you know, making it PC and mobile accessible, I think it's going to be huge in my opinion. So last thing I want to talk about is just a couple of big announcements that have been going on recently with the project. So like I said, I did buy their token during their token generation event a little while ago. I think it was two months ago, maybe three months ago. And I have about 1.8 million tokens. But since then, they've grown very rapidly. Their Twitter's at 50,000 followers. And you can see that right now, as we're speaking, depending on when you're watching this, they have 12 hours left in their FCFS sale. So this is essentially just like if you click on Medium, it's $175 a box. Um, I personally got a couple. Uh, but when you look at Medium, these aren't in particular NFTs per se, but what they do is these are blind boxes that you can get on their website. And the way it works is these will then give you access to NFTs in the future. You can see you follow all these steps. It says these boxes themselves aren't NFTs. Instead of receiving an NFT, purchasing a box, put your wallet address on the internal whitelist. And then from February 10th, 2022 onwards, you'll be able to um, claim on their website um, actual NFTs like these Kitsuman eggs. So that's pretty exciting in my opinion. This is a project I want to share with you because I have personally invested in it. It's not my biggest investment by any means, but I do believe in Polygon. And I think Polygon is going to see a lot of huge metaverse projects, huge games being released. And that is why I personally bought 1.8 million tokens in this project. So I wanted to share with you guys, let give you a quick update as to these NFTs, which are going to be, you know, selling out <laughs> pretty soon. So just check that out. Let me know your thoughts and check out their Twitter page where you can see all the information about these NFTs. But if not, you could always just buy their token. It is a Polygon project. I invested about two or three months ago. Haven't sold anything. You could check the on-chain data. But yeah, that's what's going on. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, and let me know your thoughts about Kitsuman and Polygon. So let me know, but I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.